We're doing great. Having lunch at uh, Moab Diner. We're in Moab. Can't beat that. The sun is out, making us happy. <laughs> Best of all, we're going to. Chris is here. Matt Green, we met last year, and we thought it would be a great idea to invite some guests out on the turn ride today. So here's here with his buddy Mike. Hey, I'm Chip with Tuffy Security Products. This is Scott. We're going to roll out with Gone Jeepin' today. Me too, Chris. Thanks. Hey guys, all right, um, I'm Chris, and today I'm that guy, that guy that shows up late, doesn't have a radio, and still needs to get fuel. So. Yay! I mentioned Mineral Bottom. Yep. Uh, a couple of people probably been there. <laughs> it's not a difficult trail. It's like super scenic. It goes down this complete cliffside road. So we're meeting at the parking lot before the bridge. Yeah. It's like last year. Good morning. Is it? Yeah. Well, what's be tail gunner? Chris Collard here, and I'm driving in my Expedition de las Americas CJ7. We have a lot of non-team members on the ride, which is what we really want. We want to get you guys out here with us, on the trail, having a blast. Charles Fredericks, with my dad's Jeep, 1974 CJ5, all original, V8 manual. John Porter, this is my 2016 JK Rubicon, Hard Rock Edition. I am an invited subscriber here on this trail run today. Drivers meeting, how's everybody doing? Yay! Yay. Yay. <laughs> Third <laughs> annual non Jeep and trail ride, so that's pretty interesting right there. We've got 13 rigs and... So this year we do have subscribers here, friends, family, and everything else, so that's kind of cool. I'm Rick Payway, hi, I'm with Gone Jeepin, and I've been doing this a long time. Yeah, okay, let's start here. We're gonna say, <laughs> give us your name and where you're from and what you are. All right, I'm Nick Rassiopo, I'm from New Jersey, and I own a rig called Murdercon. Okay. Greg Henderson of Gone Jeepin, and on official use only. I'm Sarah Donaldson, and I'm with him. I'm Tyler Donaldson from Gone Jeepin. I'm John Porter, friends of Gone Jeepin. <laughs> Chip Olson with Tuffy Security Products. Uh, Matt Green, Gone Jeepin subscriber. Yeah, I'm and follower. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we found you last year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mike Robosky, Gone Jeepin subscriber, and from Michigan. Okay. Lipton Slay from Colorado. I don't really need to say. Uh, yeah, lots of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> William Lafferty, Gone Jeepin, Jeep Sheep TV, and I'm living in Wisconsin. This is Blue Barrera. He's from Roaming Reckless. He's from Michigan, as am I. Hello, Maria. Nice to meet you. Tony, Jeep Talk Show. I uh, took a wrong turn, and you guys were kind enough to let me follow along. <laughs> <laughs> Charles from Kansas, um, part of the Jeep Talk Show. Scott from Durango, Colorado. And Tuffy Security Products. And I'm Chris Collard. I'm uh, one of the Gone Jeep and crew, and I'm just kind of more like a bum looking for my next free cup of coffee. <laughs> did you bring the coffee? <laughs> I, yeah, I have a cup of coffee. I did not bring my Hold on one more. Hang on a second. There we go. Something that hardly ever happens. Uh, Michael Harrington with Gone Jeep and anybody's passenger seat, anybody's sandwich, I'm all good for it. <laughs> <laughs> hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. If you don't know, you're out in the desert and you will die if you wear black. Keep wearing black. That's right. <laughs> this happens to me every year. No. <laughs> We're good. Yeah. See my lunch later. Usually a couple hours. My name's Nick Rasciopo. I'm the owner of Murdercon. I'm out here with the Gone Jeep and crew. Just gonna have a good time today. Built by the unofficial use only crew, headed by Greg Henderson. It was a 2023 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392. Greg added a blower from Magnuson Performance, which is capable of 1200 horsepower. Hey, this is Tyler, and this is my wife, Sarah, with Gone Jeepin, and we are driving a 98 Jeep Cherokee XJ this year. So if you're wondering about my little Jeep here, all beat up and rust and dents and patina, this is one of uh, Mark Smith's Expedition de las Americas Jeeps. Went from Ushuaia, tip of South America, all the way to Prudhoe Bay, Alaska on the Arctic Ocean, and they crossed the Daring Gap, which was like a really big thing. 
Hey Rick, cool Jeep. How many subwoofers do you have? <laughs> Subwoofer? We have enough to blow the windows out. That's all you need. Dude, do. I have lockers. off at this uranium mine that I had found many years ago <laughs> and at the time it was just open there, nobody came up here and uh, now they've got it gated off unfortunately but it's a multi-layer labyrinth of, uh, of tunnels in there first time I was here I came out a different tunnel than I came in I swore I would have been coming out the right tunnel and I came out and I looked around I'm like I was over there somewhere I'm like holy crap <laughs> like Tom Sawyer <laughs> getting lost I was going to be eating candles part of the uranium boom of the Cold War, and just came up to check it out. We're sitting here at a uranium mine. No, we're not glowing. It's not glowing. It's nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here. Chris, get away from the gate. Petrified wood. This is cool. our way up the other side because we're trying to catch up with the group so now we got a bunch of plugs in looks good we're gonna test it out and see if we can hold any pressure thanks for the plugs yeah, no problem man but this, is, this is why you always have yeah good jack. good jack right here bring your tools next time We've got some BLM spotters. They've been spying on us this whole time and watching from a distance. They're following us down the trail to make sure that we're doing everything right. Like, take a look at this. Look at these guys. Here, it's lunch spot. Place I visited. Found, I didn't discover it, but I found it about 30 years ago. This is a 
I guess our destination for the day. Of course, we had the journey, but it's Hell Roaring Canyon. I was up here many, many years ago, and then I came back about 10 years ago with Rick and a whole bunch of group during Easter Jeep Safari. When I found it, I was doing a canoe trip from Green River down to the confluence. And we had a, this is in the 90, early 90s, so we had a paper map, you know, hand-drawn paper map that showed the river and then certain places of interest where there's natural springs up in a canyon. You've lived such a boring life. My life has been boring, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Greg. And it just said, uh, rock carving, Dennis Julian. And again, this is like a hand-drawn map. So we hiked up and uh, found this. And he's got an inscription up there on the rock. It says, D. Julian, date 1836. His little riverboat with a mast on it. And I'm not sure what the... Something that kind of looks like a sun, but I'm not sure what that actually depicts. That was a long time ago. That was 20 years before the Civil War. Years before they discovered gold in California and everybody started moving west. Basically, Dennis Julian was a French-Canadian trapper. And he is the first known non-Indian in this region, the first one to successfully navigate the river. It's just about that time Fremont was uh, exploring. They were looking for the Mary's River, and they were exploring that whole northern Nevada area in the High Rock Desert. But John Powell did this expedition, a boat expedition, from down the Colorado River, and he's the first one to do the entire Colorado. Dennis Julian was the first one down the green. I mean, it was a big white space on the map. So these guys were just badasses. Fascinating spot. I'm really glad we came back. I'm really glad you brought us here. Thank you for yeah, sharing. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Way you make a trail lunch. What you got there? The station is not, I'm not getting good reception in this station, so I have to change it. Cheaping is so hard. Is this like tapes before lockers or something like that? Tapes before lockers, yes. Nice. <laughs> Is that Spotify? It, uh, yes, I think it is. My name is Liam, and I came out here from Wisconsin. My name is Mike, and I came out here from Indianapolis, Indiana. Now, when you live that far away, it can be kind of challenging to get to Moab. And man, I wanted to come out here so bad. I don't know about you, Mike. Yes, yes. So we had to take an airplane. So that's what we're going to be doing the next five days, huh? We needed a vehicle to drive, and Tyler lent us this beautiful, just breathtaking Comanche. There oh, you go. man. It's stuck to you. This is cool. I'm so excited to drive this thing. You know how to drive a manual, right? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll start rolling backwards here. Oh, no! Overdrive, that's reverse. We had this tiny little cab, two guys, and a ton of camera gear. And it just all, like all of the pieces came together. Tuffy reached out to me and said, hey, we want to give you free product to do in a video. And I said, you know what? Let's put it on Tyler's Jeep because it's, A, it's gonna save the day, and you're gonna get backdrops like this. And that is way better than my garage, <laughs> let me tell you. Well, also, it had a lot to do with the security of the gear because we're carrying some expensive gear that we rely on regularly. And so to pull up to a restaurant and have to figure out how you're going to carry everything in the restaurant because you can't lock it in the truck, that wasn't going to work. Exactly. And the cab, like I said, it's small and a lot of our gear is larger, so we're putting it in the bed. Not a big deal, but this week, you never know in Moab. We got rain, we got snow, and of course, there's a lot of people out here this time of year, and it's good to just keep stuff under lock and key. And so Tuffy came through and they gave us this gorgeous box. Tyler installed it, and it fits perfectly in this Comanche.
What are we driving? It's cheap. I'm rolling, you drop yeah. more, boys. Yeah, hey guys, all right, so this kind of wraps up our uh, afternoon at uh, Hell Roaring Canyon on Mineral Bottom on the Green River. Did you guys have fun? Yeah! yeah. yeah. I can't hear you! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> well, these guys are deaf! Give me a hoo All right, thanks for joining us for Gone Jeep, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hey, where's Rick? Rick, oh, Rick, Rick. Rick. wait a minute. <laughs> we left him. Oh, no. I think we left Rick. He was in his sandals walking up the river. We got asked to go on the Gone, gone Jeep and uh, Trail Ride today. It was amazing. The, the people we rode with from all different things, absolutely awesome. This has probably been the highlights of them all. Gone Jeep and super fans, but now they're just part of Gone Jeep. <laughs> If you haven't traveled in Moab or been to Moab, it might be on your bucket list. When you do get here, pick off a couple of the well-known trails based on your vehicle and your experience, but then give yourself a day or two to go out and explore other areas. It's ones that not too many people have heard of. So you really find some just fantastic places. Don't forget to go out and explore. That's all I got. We'll see you next time. Is that three? I'm probably just gonna go in a second. All Four. the way over and up yeah. is first. Maria, I don't need your commentary. Try not, to, try not to hit reverse when you go into third. <laughs> Maybe once. Oh my god, I did. Oh! oh my. Rookie! I found it's where It's the clutch. Oh Shut up, Maria. <laughs> Skinny pedal on the right. I'm trying to Are you in first back. gear? What? You sure you're in first gear? Yeah. Okay. I'm just bad at this. Okay. This is this is a good time. You guys are gonna have a good time watching this one. And there she goes. The last time I ever see her. Peeling out. Woohoo! Gets off to a flying 10 mile an hour start. <laughs> it's like we're on the dairy in Mike. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wow, this is very different than that Comanche. I'm driving Edla. This is the coolest thing ever. Well, I might suck at driving it right now, but at least I'm driving it, and that's super, super cool. This Jeep is full of so much history, and just to say that I've touched it, let alone driven it, is a huge accomplishment in my world. Thank you, Chris. They're really testing me here on my ability to drive a manual. Hi everybody! See ya! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Gone Jeepin'.